guys what's up okay so today I'm going for my almost last uh, session before my solo test uh, for pilot training so today the winds are a little heavy uh, reported around 20 knots gust so the winds are going to be heavy and we chose today on purpose because my trainer wants to know that I will be able to land an aeroplane when the winds are high okay so they wanted to test and I'm more positive that definitely I'm gonna do that uh, once it is done she's gonna sign me off for my solo test and then the next session it is going to be my solo test uh, what is solo test well I will be allowed to fly an aeroplane all by myself Okay, so without anyone's help, at the same time, I should not carry any other passengers with me. That's the rule. So I'm so excited and I'm uh, fully charged and prepared. So today, I'm going to go fly and land on these heavy winds. Okay, I will let you know how it went. gonna start the reflight then we will actually make sure you know the flight is in good condition so I'm just gonna open it all right so this is the cockpit two people can sit it right this is what okay now I'm gonna start doing free check Okay, what I'm gonna do, there is something called a pre-check. So we have to check the file. This is where we record tax and hops because uh, you know every time when you fly, you have to make sure you are recording the whole, uh, like what is the starting reading of the engine and the tax and hops, they call it. We have to record it in this paper, right? So today the Hops out 8222.5. Tag, what is the tags out? 32414. So now we recorded what is the record reading when we are taking out. So this is the aeroplane key, it looks funny. Now, once we are back, we have to write it again what uh, readings we came back in. That's how we track. Next thing we need to do is there is something called as a checklist. What does checklist do? It tells the sequence of steps that you need to follow every uh, point it means every step like whatever you do with the aircraft you have to follow the checklist because make sure you won't miss any step all right so the first thing what we call it as a pre-flight what is pre-flight as the name says uh, going through the steps before flight so visually check the fuel quantity so they're asking to check the fuel quantity we have to get upstairs upstairs in the sense onto the wings to check the fuel quantity because for the aircraft the fuel tanks located on each side of the wings are two fuel tanks so in a minute we are going to go up and check and if the fuel is less we have to order from the gas station so they will come and fill it up we don't have to go to the petrol pump or the gas station and then make sure you have a proper ballast in the back of the airplane report any discrepancies so what we're going to do is uh, first before getting up, we're gonna check the fuel through switching on the uh, master switch. And there is a fuel gauges. It will tell how much fuel is left. Seems left tank we have, oh boy, like a quarter tank. And then the right hand, right tank we have uh, almost a half tank. So I'm just guessing half is like six gallons quarter is like close to maybe three so around total nine gallons of gas we have and 
it usually you know five gallons we can fly for one hour so nine gallons i think it should be okay but it's always good to cross check with the uh, flight instructor because we don't know what uh, she's gonna suggest okay so i'm gonna visually check and i'll show you and then we can call uh, my instructor and ask what we need to do with regards to the flights okay while my master switch on i'm also gonna uh, down the flaps so uh, flaps or these guys behind me if you see it right uh, you see i think you are able to notice it those are flaps okay and uh I'm also gonna show you the light switches. So we're gonna check if all lights are working, right? Okay. Um, so let us go outside and check all the lights if they're working or not. Beacon light that stays on top of the tail. Uh, there is a tail light as well. You can see it on the top. There you go, it's, it's working. And then, see this? This is where the other two lights are landing lights uh, on the wing. There is another red light on the other side of the wing. So now all the lights are working fine. So I'm gonna switch off all the lights to save the battery. There. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna switch off the master too. All right, let's make a call, right? Okay, yeah. Execute ground Cessna 6001 Golf at runway 30, ready for departure. 6001 call, call course northwest runway 30, clear for takeoff. Runway 30, clear for takeoff. Turns into the wind, this yep. side, sorry. So, full throttle and release the brakes. Very good. Is that green? Yeah, they say green. Okay. What speed? 70? We want 75. You want 75? Yeah. Okay. A bit firmer on the right rudder, I think. Okay. There you go. There. I think now it tends to want to... Uh, it's kind of shifting around.
we just finished Hello. our uh, uh, class pilot training today. Today was my pattern work landings on the heavy winds. Mm -hmm. So Clarice is my uh, trainer. So let's hear from her how I did today. Clarice, KK. how did I today? <laughs> KK did so well. I threw a lot of <laughs> I threw a lot of really hard stuff his way today. I landed him on a couple different runways. Uh, like he said, we had some winds today, cross winds, so the wind's not right down the runway, so you have to correct for that. Mm -hmm. I gave him some complicated taxi instructions. I did not go easy on him. We're trying to get him to solo. Yeah. And uh, he proved himself today that he's he's there. Yes, yes. That's it, guys. So one more, okay? <laughs> one more. Don't uh, don't think I'm saying the same again every day, but it is going to be one more. <laughs> right, Clarice? That's right. Yeah, that's right. One more. One more. Okay. Thank you.